Opera is often thought of as a dusty old art form. But a new generation of singers at the University of British Columbia is determined to keep it alive. It's up to us now to, to develop the, uh, the future generations of the opera goers or opera singers. I think there's a real star factor that's coming back to opera that was really prevalent in the 50s and 60s and then disappeared for a while. And I think that that's why a lot of people, in my generation at least, are getting back into opera. It's kind of a lure, the lure of um, this beautiful art form is much more prevalent. For me, it's a great way of expressing myself and you get to not only sing, which is so rewarding, but also you get to be another character and you can express yourself through that character and also you get to wear beautiful costumes and perform with an orchestra, which is so great. You get an adrenaline rush and to be up there with your friends and colleagues performing together, sharing the experience, it's really magical and it's like a high that you can't live without. <laughs> the life of an opera singer is not as glamorous as it sounds. My family uh, supported me except for my dad when I started the opera um, because um, being a typical Asian dad, he wanted me to um, be a doctor or uh, someone who's making a lot of money and um, opera singer certainly isn't one. <laughs> opera students face a lot of challenges. Most of all, um, right now, a very oversaturated market. We have a lot of people graduating from universities with music degrees, with opera degrees, but at the same time, a lot of opera companies are shutting down right now or cutting back on how many young artists they hire. My backup plan is to win a lottery or a marry a girl who has tons of money. No, um, my backup plan is if I, I, I had um, many plan B's and C's, but um, I don't even look at that. I just want to sing. UBC opera students have spent the past six months getting ready to perform in Rosalka, an opera by Czech composer Anton Dvorak. <laughs> It really transports you to another world of the water world and the forest and also Dvorak's music is so beautiful and so Czech. There's a word uh, that goes Vistrich and um, I don't think there's any vowel whatsoever in there. No. In quite a few operas, the female lead says, like, I'll risk it all just to try and have it all. And that's, that's what Rusalka does, and I think that that's kind of what we all do as artists. These young singers say they will continue to fight for opera. Yes. It's difficult to get the bums in the seats for opera, and I, we all wish that we could convince more people to come just once. It's a very acquired taste, so uh, it doesn't have that mass appeal um, with everyone. So, you know, that's something that we have to work on. Yeah.